burr, burr, burr. Um, <clears throat> yesterday was easier than Monday was for sure. And it's strange because I ate a lot less food. So maybe, you know, <clears throat> getting my insulin in check. I don't know. Not that I wasn't hungry and would have ate. I just wasn't as hungry. Um, like I said, I only ate half the soup yesterday for breakfast, or for lunch and then only maybe a few bites of that one last night. It was just so bland. Now I did read online that you can add some spices and some seasonings and stuff, but I just was kind of wiped yesterday. Didn't even make the soup to eight o'clock, so. No, seven o'clock, so. I just kind of wiped. Um, I ate the Cocoa Crisp bar. <laughs> I mean, it's just like a little square. And the bar for breakfast, that's pretty much all I had. I really didn't eat a lot yesterday. So, I had a good drop. 1.8, almost 2 pounds. I was, I was happy. I was hoping for a little bit more. But that's just who I am. Um, that L drink is 32 ounces. You're supposed to sip it throughout the day, and I am um, like I almost finished it at work, so I'm gonna try to make that last a little longer today. I don't know if that's maybe what helped. You know, it is. It's like when I had the cough drops and didn't realize I was giving myself a little bit of um, carbs <laughs> throughout the day, and was wondering why it was easier that day. That's why I was easy. So I think that maybe that just stabilizing my um, blood sugar is why I felt okay yesterday. So excuse me. Um, only other thing I'm drinking lots of bubbly. There is a bubbly with caffeine, um, and I took some migraine Excedrin on Monday because I had a bad headache. So I got some caffeine then. Other than that, I'm doing okay. Like I said, I just wanted more weight. I'm surprised on how swollen I am in the morning. And I slept for total shit last night. Total shit. So maybe it's important that I do eat what they give me. But, oh my God, I was up like every hour. Um, ended up on the couch. My lower back is hurting. So I know it's my, my cycle. But just sleep was horrible. Sleep Monday night was fine. Like, I fell asleep. Oh, jeez. I gotta go through this red light. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was absolutely okay on Monday. Like, fell asleep fine, stayed asleep fine. So I had a good night's sleep. Last night, every little noise woke me up. And um, I spent, like, Diesel wanting to go out a bunch. And I don't know. I was just frustrated. Because I was like, I'm not sleeping. And it probably has to do with that I was hungry. And I don't like that. I was, like, it, very similar to being in a fast. A longer fast. Where I start to have thoughts about um, past mistakes. And they started coming, you know, forward but not big ones, if that makes sense. Like little things that I've done wrong recently. Just regret not them. Uh, I'm stupid. It just happens when you fast. I don't know why. Crazy dreams, shitty sleep. Oh, um, so it is similar. <laughs> I mean, I barely ate anything yesterday, so it was a fast. Um, Caroline starts today. I'm so happy. <laughs> I, I think she's going to like eat most of her stuff in a, in a small window though. I don't think she's going to eat it throughout the day like me. But I'm glad she's doing it with me so I can complain to her. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to doing it on my own because I'm going to enjoy the food much more. <laughs> But I wonder, even if it's the same calorie count, if I'm going to have success on it. Even eating a thousand calories. I should, right? Um, yeah, I'll check in at breakfast.
breakfast. It's nine o'clock. I'm doing really well. I'm not hungry at all yet. Just made my filled drink with one thing of hibiscus tea in there. Hi guys. Just wanted to come on here. Urt, urt, urt. Got rear ended. I wanted to come on here and tell you that I am feeling really good. Like, super good. I don't know, like, if it's just this great fasting feeling because of the lack of food yesterday and getting through it, or if it's the um, L drink with the little tiny bit of sugar in it and the maintaining my blood insulin. I don't know. I'm not even that hungry. Of course I would eat. I'm driving by, like it's lunchtime, and I'm driving by like Chick-fil-A, and I'm like, mmm, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but I don't really, like I'm not really starving or anything. My stomach's not growling or nothing. I um, had to run out. I got my son the Oculus for Christmas, and he cracked his phone pretty bad. And I wanted him to be able to, you know, have a nice phone to use for it or why spend all the money. So I'm making him get pay for his screen to be fixed. But um, I went and dropped it off. They're going to have it done in an hour, which is so great. Um, and I needed a new Xfinity remote because my dog keeps eating the remote and the couch. <laughs> but it was so quick. I went and got my COVID test. I did all this stuff and it's only been like 40 minutes. So I'm glad I did all my errands today. I am um, gonna go back to work and make the soup even though I'm not that hungry. It's the butternut squash soup. I spent some time this morning really going through all the macros and um, determining what I really want my custom macros to look like for next week. I'm actually even gonna try to stay within the macros for date night. I know that's gonna be difficult. 1,100 calories doesn't get you far in a restaurant, but I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm thinking what I'll do is I will, um, you know, like maybe limit myself to two bars or something on Saturday um, before I go out so I can have the majority of my, I do have some leftover calories from each day in carbon because of this fast. Like yesterday was 800 calories. So really I should be able to add 300 to, to Saturday's meal. And if I do that today and, to, and Friday, that's another 600, another 900. So I should be able to have like a 2000 calorie. They, they call it a meal planner. So you can bump back your calories and stuff and then bump them up on a certain day on a special occasion. So I'm using it exactly like I'm supposed to. But I am changing the macros quite a bit. I kind of looked at foods I like to eat, how much macros they are. Um, I went into carbon and they allow you to adjust your macros. You put in the macros and then it gives you the calorie count. So I wanted to kind of keep it the same around the same amount of calories. So this diet, the first day was about 1100 calories. And every day after that has been between eight and 900. Um, I'm thinking the eight and 900 is where I'm gonna lose you know, a good amount of weight every day versus the, um, you know, 1100, but my, my max calorie will be 1100 calories. I'm going to bump my protein way back down. I did some more research on that and it says like you really only, I really only need about 60 grams of protein a day. Um, I don't think I need 128, like, like the carbon app was telling me I did. It's just too much. I can't get it in. I'm never going to be compliant. So 60 grams of protein. I think it's around 30 grams of fat, which I, and then I adjusted the carbs to like 125. So still very balanced. And it gave me 1100 calories or 1098. So that is like, sounds right about perfect for me. 
it's just going to take lots of planning and putting the effort in but I think as soon as I do do that I will be successful and I already started my bags of food and I just have to put them into I have like a little cal counter an excel spreadsheet that I can look everything up in and make sure but I have a really good plan starting Sunday um, through Thursday I don't get into Florida till super late at night so I don't plan on eating once I do get there I don't know if I might have a truly or something <laughs> Caroline and I get into the airport like at 10 30 at night so and then Friday I'm going to Universal and um, I can still I can be good there I can uh, you know eat very minimum at the park and then go out to dinner so we shall see and then Saturday's my race and I know I'm gonna it's gonna be an all-day thing so if I go over on Friday I'm I'll be fine but I just wanted to tell you I feel so good really clear-headed no lightness no like no fogginess no head no lightheadedness um, good mood yeah just feeling really good And, you know, down two pounds, so <laughs> if I could be down two pounds, two, two more pounds tomorrow, Thursday, another two pounds, Friday is another four, six pounds overall. Caroline guessed that I would lose seven, so we shall see. Lunchtime, butternut squash soup, and those almond kale crackers, which are good, and then some vitamins. That's it for lunch, feeling great. Okay guys, last meal. Today was a little harder at the end here. My head is hurting, but I'm just praying I sleep. And my husband, look what my husband made. It's the same old, say hi Leela. Same old crap. It smells so good.